Good morning. Good morning, members of the board and Commissioner Wenzel. My name is Kristen Record. I'm a resident of the city of Bridgeport, and I've taught physics at Bennell High School in Stratford for 18 years. I'm the Stratford Education Association's Vice President for Secondary Schools, and I'm the 2011 Connecticut Teacher of the Year. Last Wednesday, Governor Malloy's State of the State Address coincided with a snow day, so I was able to watch it on live television as he spoke about the theme of Connecticut fairness and how we will support policy initiatives during the 2018 legislative session that are aimed at creating fairer, more equitable state for Connecticut residents. And this theme of fairness struck me as ironic as I reflected upon the devastation inflicted upon Stratford schools by the 2017 budget bill. Imagine your elementary school no longer has a librarian and you no longer have a school counselor. Imagine your school to career pathway program in automotive tech simply gets eliminated. Imagine getting told you have to take a study hall instead of an academic class. Imagine getting six extra students added to your first grade class. Is any of that fair? That was the reality faced in Stratford after we lost nearly $2.9 million in ECS funds for this school year. Stratford ranks 112 out of 163 municipalities in terms of wealth, but we rank second in the amount of ECS monies lost. Is that fair? In order to avoid the devastation of up to 50 teachers getting laid off mid-year, all employees of the Stratford Board of Education agreed to take two furlough days, literally shutting down the entire school district, reducing the student's calendar from 182 to 180 days. Every adult and every child in the Stratford School District now bears the burden of the draconian ECS cuts inflicted upon us. I am losing two days of pay and my students are losing two days of an education. Is that fair? At the same time ECS funds were cut, the 2017 budget also eliminated funding for the team program. I've been a team mentor and a member of our team coordinating committee on my district in Stratford since the program's inception. The elimination of team funding has decimated our ability to support our new teachers and effectively help them become the best they can be. Is that fair? At a time when such pain is being inflicted upon towns and school systems, sending more money to charter schools is absolutely not fair. By continuing to expand a parallel system of schools that does not provide equal opportunities to all students, the children of my public school district have become victims of a system that is neither fair nor equitable. I urge you to reject charter school expansion and instead restore state funding to programs that help children in Stratford's public schools. We simply cannot take any more hits. It's not fair. Thank you.